All right, you guys, I'm gonna make one of these impromptu videos and I'm just holding the camera manually. I'm on my way out to the hockey game, The maybe the last Vancouver hockey game, we don't know. Anyway, I don't know what date it is, it's in April sometime. And the reason I'm making this video is I have to be really honest with you about something and um, it'll be the end of July It'll be, my gosh, two years post-treatment. It'll be two years since I've done treatment. Uh, my one-year test, I was SVR, which means I'm free of the virus, which most people say I'm cured. Other people don't agree, but anyway, I'm cured as far as I'm concerned. I never intend to get this again. I have never, you guys, felt the same way as I did before, I've never felt, uh, how do you put it? I've never felt the same way again. I've never gotten the energy back that I thought that I would get back. Um, my skin, even even with makeup on, my skin is is always bad. When I wear makeup, when I wear foundation, it now turns to like zits as soon as I wear it and then it turns into super dry skin. Uh, on my legs when I was on treatment I got these patches of dry skin and they were perfectly round and if you scratched them they would go like white dry skin and I went to a naturopath and he thinks it's I think cirrhosis or something of that effect. And it's on my legs now, it won't go away. I've had it for like a couple months and these spots will not even disappear. My skin's never been the same. My hair's never been the same. Um, when I was on the treatment, I was thrown into the throes of menopause. That went away for a few months after I finished treatment. It returned, oh my God, about a year ago. I haven't slept properly in a year. I wake up in puddles of sweat. The menopause is worse than it's ever been. Since um, my initial hepatitis C diagnosis, for those that have been following me, I was also diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome, which is a really a horrible disease and, and you know, stress stress affects it more than anything and you end up on the toilet. It feels like a severe, severe, severe stomach flu. Comes out of left field, you'll have it coming out both ends and wish you were dead, it's that bad. At least it is for me. I've been diagnosed with degenerative disc disease, I've been diagnosed with osteoarthritis, osteoporosis. Uh, a lot of those diseases are also um, maybe drug related to my past but they're also related to the constant inflammation in the body when you have hepatitis C. That is why it leads to other diseases, it leads to the brain fog, it inflames your brain, it inflames all of your organs. 80% of a lot of cancers are directly related to the hepatitis B and C virus. One third of diabetes uh, type 2 is related. Fibromyalgia is related. Uh, all these other diseases are related to hepatitis C. I'm going to ignore that. I hope you will too. All of these other diseases, thyroid, it, it, can, it can affect your thyroid. And um, cirrhosis, oh, cirrhosis, or what did I say out on my legs? I don't know what it is. The brain fog never goes away. I went, this really freaked me out. The one thing that has always set me aside for most people in this world that I found in myself to be really important, that, on, that, that gave me the only self-worth I've ever had is that I... I pride myself on being intelligent and, and smarter than the average person. I went for a test recently for a 911 operator and it was all this cognitive testing on, on reading maps and answering emergency calls while you're listening to tapes and typing in all this information. I've never failed a test in my life till the second time through my 
uh, real estate test and now I know why I was already in the throes of hepatitis C brain fog at that time. That was in 2005. Anyway, this is the first test I've ever failed so miserably. I ended up in the car bawling my eyes out because now I feel dumb. I feel like I'm getting older, I've lost my looks, I've lost my skin tone, I've lost most of my hair, and now I lose my brain. So it, it, it gets discouraging, but at the other token, ooh, I couldn't put off treatment because a couple more years bad things would have started to happen and it would have cost me my life and so what do you do? I can honestly say I've never felt the same way again and I know that a lot of people out there feel the same way that have contacted me. Some people never make it back into the job force um, having underwent this especially when we're older it is really hard on on the body and I just wanted to let you know that we as a charity I wanted to let you know too hepatitis C global initiatives we're doing our first fundraiser event you'll be able to see it here on YouTube on my Facebook it'll be all over please if you can help in any way or if you can pass on the information to anyone that you can help us we want to start a big campaign educating Vancouver bringing it out further, doing flyers, posters, walking around with t-shirts, getting volunteers. We need to start support groups starting in Vancouver, branching out. We need to start support groups for hepatitis C. We need to start support groups for spouses and caregivers of those that are on the program. And eventually, we want to su provide support. I was watching some of my old videos today. Some of them made me cry. If I hadn't had the support, and a lot of which I lost later on throughout my illness, if I, you couldn't do this. You couldn't do this without people coming over, taking care of you, taking you to the doctors, helping you with the paperwork. If you run into any hurdles, uh, looking after the house, you can't even, I mean, I couldn't be in the kitchen, I left burners on, and all kinds of stuff. So we really want to help as a charity. We want to help other people that are having to turn down treatment because they don't have the facilities of care in place. We want to be able to do that in the long run. So if you can find it in your hearts to either give financially, to help us volunteer, to help pass on the information, please have a look at all our sites and uh, we're going to let you go now. Thank you again for all of those that have stuck through this with me. Anybody that needs our help, please contact us and we will, if we don't have the answers, we will find the answers for you. And I hope you guys are all well and strong and I love you. And I couldn't do this without you. Always remember that, please. I love you guys all. Thank you.